All right, well, welcome to The Morning Report. Welcome to The Morning Report. My name is Willie Lawson. I'm The Morning Report is a production of FightBackMedia.com, 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 and FightBackMediaTV.com. We appreciate you being here this glorious, glorious Wednesday morning. Again, really, really, it was a good day yesterday. I got to, I had to have breakfast with a good friend of mine, um, my best friend, uh, best man at my wedding, and... Um, uh, you know, I worked for him when I, when he, when he was teaching with the band director and uh, watched his great career. He retired recently and uh, it was, it was great catch. It's always good catching up with them. Always good hanging out uh, just for, even if it's just for a little bit. Uh, super, super. Um, Ted, my dance card is pretty open too for breakfast in the morning. So whenever uh, you want to start your day with uh, uh, a trip down memory lane, you know, I know where all the bodies are buried. <laughs> he knows where all my bodies are buried too. So that's great. Uh, if you've got somebody that um, you've known for a long time and you, have, you haven't seen for a long time and that you've got good history with, find them, contact them, do it. Don't wait. And we'll learn, I'm, I mean, we'll, we'll learn that lesson hard around here. Don't, don't wait uh, because what you think you have is time. What you don't have is time. All right. Um, let's get the day started. Um, one good thing that that's happened in the past few years that um, Merrick Garland is not a um, is not on the Supreme Court. Dodged a bullet there. Because Merrick Garland is a uh, piece of, and that's all there is to it. We're going to talk a little bit about about that uh, as it as it concerns the um, the kidnapping uh, uh, and the murder of two American citizens in Mexico um, this week, and they are freaking out. They are losing it because Tucker, Tucker Carlson is releasing some of this January 6th video and they are losing it. Adam Kissinger is, you know, is melting down every day, all day long. Um, Chuck Schumer is, is losing his mind on the Senate floor, flipping out because what's happening is it's, it's one more thing, one more narrative that they have pushed and pushed hard the past few, the past year, the past two or three years, is crumbling right before their very eyes. Right before their very eyes. We're going to talk about both of those things when we get back from these messages. Again, my name is Willie Lawson. This is the Morning Report. Uh, a production of fightbackmedia.com, 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 and fightbackmediatv.com. We'll be back right after these messages. So is it okay now, because it was, I mean, during the Trump administration, it is okay to talk about the president's... Um, yeah, we talked about mental health elderly, so let's talk about this guy, mental the health. Me, you know, the president's mental acuity, because... It's, there's sometimes where it seems to be lacking. Have you seen? Sometimes, yeah. Sometimes, sometimes, sometimes it's especially bad. I mean, I'm talking about sometimes it's it's like really bad. Like, have you seen the picture? I was told not to take any questions. <laughs> I was told not, not to take, take any, questions. any questions. They told they're going to be mad at me. They're going to be mad at me. They, uh, Mr. President, are you the president? Or are you or are you five? You, you see what I want. See the, the next question is. Um, you, I was Ms. told. President? I was told to call on. What you yes. calling for C for NBC? Who's telling you to call on? That's the question that we ought to be asking. Who's telling you this? I mean, I, I don't understand why no, no, nobody won't ask that question. Is Jen Psaki actually the president? Who's telling you to call on these people in the media? Is Jen Psaki actually the president? Uh, probably so. All righty. Um, last Friday, 
there were four Americans killed in Montemoros, Mexico. Uh, they apparently got caught up in a drive-by uh, from, from some Mexican um, cartels. Um, two of them are back in the, the two surviving ones are back in the United States. Uh, the story, I think the backstory is that, that they were in Mexico um, to get surgery, uh, some discount surgery. And that's what one of the things Mexico is good, good for a little discount surgery. Um, it is because it is cheaper. And, and, in, and I believe it was, it, it might've been gastric, gastric by, bypass. I don't know what it was, but I, from what I understand, um, from my sources that a lot of people go there for that surgery um, because first of all, it's cheaper and they don't make you go through all, jump through all the hoops, getting all the counseling and that kind of stuff. Uh, people will also go there for uh, uh, sex reassignment surgeries for the very same reasons. Um, anyway, uh, they, th these four people from South Carolina were got caught up in a drive-by there and um, were kidnapped. Um, two of them were, were killed and, what one of the others were injured, but they're back in South Carolina, I believe, uh, getting medical treatment and hopefully are going to be okay. Attorney General Merrick Garland said um, that he wanted to offer his deepest condolences to the families and loved ones of the vic victims of this heinous attack. The Justice Department will be re relentless in pursuing justice on their behalf. He continued, we do we will do everything in our power to identify, find, and hold accountable the individuals responsible for this attack on American citizens. Now, at the White House earlier in, in the day, uh, Press Secretary uh, Corinne Jean-Pierre was pressed on Biden's tolerance of the close proximity of violent Mexican cartels have to the United States and the amount of territory they control. Jean-Pierre claimed that um, Biden takes the uh, situation very seriously. Hmm. Really? Of course, it was Fox News, Peter Ducey. Uh, he said, and, and he said, now Americans are being slaughtered. Would President Biden be taking the same approach if it were Al Qaeda or ISIS operating just across the board from America? And this is a very, very interesting question. We know that the cartels that are in Mexico and South America are very, very dangerous. MS-13 is the real deal and, and incredibly violent because it's the violence that put, keeps them on top, the beheadings and the like. What is the administration's position that these things are happening so close to the border? And that American American citizens are, are you know, are, are, have now uh, been involved in this. And I believe these are American citizens of color. I don't know if that if that plays if that that plays any part or should play any part. But what's the president going to say? We haven't heard the president say anything. No. A whole bunch is going on here. Parts of me say, what the hell are you doing in Mexico? Trying to get surgery. Maybe that's not something you ought to do. Maybe that's not something that we ought to be doing. Maybe that's not something that, you know, that we should be doing. Now, there have been travel advisories, obviously, put out since then. And the part of Mexico where these people were, <clears throat> were murdered is now level four which means that it's extremely dangerous. I haven't, I haven't heard the president come out and say anything since he, you know, walked over the Gaddis Bridge um, in solidarity about four Americans being, you know, being attacked in a Mexican city. I don't know. And Merrick Garland is pretending to pretending to care because he he has to pretend to care what do you think write write it down in the comments write it down in the comments what do you think we'll be back right after we find the thing here wait a minute there it is there it is 
right after these messages. Everybody. my name is Willie Lawson and um, you guys know that I do a lot of stuff on the internet and you may think with um, what's happening on Twitter and what's happening on Facebook and what happened to parlor that um, the mainstream uh, social media sources are really trying to rid themselves of conservative voices and you'd be right they most certainly are um, but you know what it isn't as bad as you think it is. It's worse. But there are uh, people who are willing to be platformed for free speech. One of those, one of those places is freedomforum.website. Freedomforum.website. You can go there and speak your mind. So come join us. Enjoy the freedom. Enjoy the fun. If you are a true blue conservative, Small businesses are near and dear to your heart. They are the lifeblood of our life and economy. I believe this, and that's why my florist is not a website or phone number. My florist is Bloomingdale's Flower Shop, Tampa's premier flower shop. At 11618 North Florida Avenue here in Tampa, Florida, and at 68. 35 State Road 54 in Newport Ritchie. Call Christine at 813-933-1942 and at 727-232-6900. She can also be reached on the web at www.bloomingdays.com. One of the things that I get asked most is where can I get information that it's not tainted with liberal bias, especially here in the Tampa Bay area? Well, now I have the answer. DBCTampa.com, a website by and for Tampa area conservatives. Tampa's leading conservative voices speak freely at tbctampa.com. And you can too. So join the fun and enjoy the freedom at tbctampa.com. My name is Willie Lawson, and this is The Morning Report. Okay, um, more Merrick Garland. Uh, you know, the, the left uh, has a couple of things that they have to, they have to keep going. One of them is COVID. Uh, uh, the other is... January 6th. That's got to keep going. Now, you, I mean, we all knew that how long the um, Russia, Russia, Russia uh, kept going. I mean, every day was some new bombshell revelation, right? And what did we find out? We found out that 
you know, the 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 dirt the, the dossier was fake. There was no collusion. We found out that it was all BS, right? But they held on to that story as long as they possibly could until the evidence actually came out so we could see it. Uh, and the same thing seems to be happening uh, when it concerns January 6th. Um, D.C. has been in a panic. Like, since this happened, since Tucker Carlson got um, got this footage that uh, the Speaker of the House has, has declassified. Uh, Adam Kissinger has been just melting down all day, even going on CNN and then, you know what, of course, and then getting schooled by U.S. Ambassador uh, to Germany, uh, Rick Grinnell, and then Senate, Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer lost his freaking marbles on the Senate floor and was flipping out so much, demanding that Fox <clears throat> had Rupert Murdoch stop Tucker Carlson from going on uh, with more January 6th footage. This is from Red State. This is a great line from Red State. No, nothing says saving democracy like trying to stop this the speech of your political oppositions. Schumer out and out lied on the Senate floor, claiming that Carlson uh, said that January 6th was not violent. He didn't say any such thing. He said while there was violence, there were other protesters inside the Capitol who were not violent. Schumer is lying because he doesn't want that basic truth told. It's a narrative that, and you see all the footage from the outside where people are climbing the walls and, you know, and things are being tossed back and forth and, uh, you know, Capitol Guard and protesters are wrestling with this piece of fence, you know, you see all that stuff. And we, uh, we, we didn't get to see a lot of the inside footage of the protesters in the rotunda staying inside the velvet ropes. Picking up trash. The dude with the horns, the QAnon dude, being led around and led into rooms by Capitol Police. Being led around and led into rooms by Capitol Police. That's what we got to see yesterday. Now, this isn't the first time that Schumer has gone after Fox. Um, and tried to suppress speech, um, you know, saying that, you know, that he has a right to tell Rupert Murdoch and Fox what to do, um, but an obligation to do so. He said democracy was was at greater risk than ever before, and that Fox News must admit that they told lies or he will have to take other steps. Hmm. Wonder what that is. They are freaking out, and they're freaking out because what's starting to happen is the truth is getting out. Their their narrative is falling to pieces, and we get to see it, and we get to see it. Ask for more. And then hold those who lied to you accountable. And that's really the other, I mean, that's the other side of this. Holding the liars to account. Holding the people who push the agenda that was incorrect to account. You think we can do that? I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. But anyway, until I see you again, go out there and learn something, love somebody. And for goodness sakes, I'll take care of yourself. We will see you when we see you. Bye-bye now.